Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 810 for technical and vocational schools. It is unit seven, lesson two, reflexive pronouns. In order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, Project Success 3 student's book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Three, a pen or a pencil. Number four, a dictionary. Now, let's go over lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to use reflexive pronouns in writing sentences. All right, so what is a reflexive pronoun? Let me explain this with a sentence. For example, Mr. Balsam announced gap before he entered. Now, I would like to use a reflexive pronoun in this example. I say, himself. So Mr. Bassem announced himself before he entered. Let me introduce a second example. She told Gap that she can do it. Now I would like to use reflexive pronoun again in this example. So I say herself. She told herself that she can do it. Now let me introduce a third example. The team won the match by and he have a gap and then a full stop. I would like to use a reflexive pronoun, themselves. The team won the match by themselves. So reflecti uh, a reflexive pronoun like himself, herself, themselves is used as the object of a verb of preposition when the subject, like Mr. Bassem, she, the team, and the object himself, herself, themselves, of a sentence are the same. So, let me explain that even further. In order for us to understand reflexive pronouns, let's go back to subject pronouns. So, I have the pronoun I. Another pronoun, you. Another pronoun, he. But you can also say Ali his name. Another one, she and Mona, for example. It, and you can say the house. The first one is a, as a male and the second one as a female. So all of these are singular pro uh, pronouns. Now let's go over to the plural pronouns. We have we, as you see, there are many. And then you. The first you is a singular one person. The second you uh, is plural. They as plural, like Ali and Mona. So the first one, we call it, so we have a category here, I and we, the second one, and a third one. So we have three categories in this. The first one, we call it first person. Second one, second person. The third one, third person. And in the third person, we have this category, which is very important for later grammatical rules. All right, so what are the pronouns in the English language? I have introduced the subject pronouns, but we have about five. So the first one is subject pronouns. In order for us to understand it, we have to go over the persons. So we have the first person. Then we have the second person. Then we have third person male. And then we have third person female. Third person thing or an animal. First person plural. Second person plural. And then we have third person plural. Subject pronoun. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. But we have another category. It is object pronouns, and they are like this. Me, you, him, her, it, us, you, them. We have a third category, possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, its, our, your, their. 
And then we have possessive uh, pronouns. Mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, yours, theirs. And then we have the third one, which is reflexive pronouns. Myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself, ourselves. As you see, it is plural. Yourselves, themselves. We are going to focus on this. So, let's go over to task number one. Question, answer the following. You have a mark of three. Number one, I would like you to remember the first person singular reflexive pronoun. Write it there, you have five seconds. All right, let's check the answer. Myself. All right, number two. Third person singular, this time female. Reflexive pronoun, you have five seconds. Let's check the answer. If you're correct, give yourself a mark, a third one. Second person plural, reflexive pronoun. You have five seconds. And the answer is yourselves. Now, give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Okay, reflexive pronouns as objects. Okay, object type. We have three types as objects. The first one is direct object. Second one is indirect object. Third one is object of a preposition. So, object pronoun, you say, I know someone. Now, someone is a direct object. And I added someone, you can say, uh, I know uh, him or I know her. Okay? Indirect object. I gave someone a card. And again, the indirect object is someone. Object of a preposition. I was with someone. You see, with is a preposition. So the object is of the preposition. All right. Now, let me introduce reflexive pronouns in this. I say, I know myself. You see, myself is a direct object. I gave myself a card. So we have two objects in this. The first one, direct object, is the card. I gave a card. The indirect, which is this one, I gave someone a card. So we have direct and indirect. I was by myself. So let me ask you a question again. Why do we call reflexive pronouns as reflexive? Because, as you see, I and myself are the same. He and himself are the same. You and yourself are the same. So the subject and object are the same. Let's go over to task number two. Complete the paragraph with reflexive pronouns. And you have a mark of five. So, I'm going to read the first sentence and let's answer it. We all need to take better care of in the workplace. So, the answer is ourselves. Why did, it, why did I write there ourselves? Because I have we here. We is the indicator of ourselves. Now, you have five minutes, uh, sorry, three minutes to answer this.
All right, now let's go over to the model answers. So, the second one is themselves. Third one, herself. Fourth one, himself. The fifth one, themselves. Now give yourself a mark and let's carry on. Ah, we have a sixth one, itself. Give yourself a mark of five and let's carry on. Task number three. In your notebooks, answer the following. B, complete the sentences, use the words from the box, this box, and reflexive pronouns. You have a mark of three. The first one, the nurse gap to the patient before she treated, treated his injury. You have to use one of them, and let me show you. You say, introduce herself. The nurse introduce herself. How did I come up with that? Because I have a she. That's why I said herself. And I crossed that out. So you have a second one, third one, and a fourth one. And you have three minutes. Now let's go to the model answer. So model answer for question B. First one, angry at myself. Second one, walk by yourself. Third one, taught himself. All right, task number four. In your notebooks, answer the following. C, question, answer the questions with reflective pronouns and you have a mark of eight the first one have you ever taught yourself how to do something second one when have you felt proud of yourself third one what do you do by yourself how do you introduce yourself now you have three minutes to answer these questions
All right, now let's go to the model answer. But before you do that, you have to use the self correcting tools. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Now let's jump to the model answers of question C. First one, I taught myself how to bake cakes. Now this model answer should be different to yours, but do not worry. Compare them both. Second one, I felt proud of myself when I helped my parents. Three, I do my homework all by myself. Four, I introduce myself as a very hardworking person. Give yourself a mark and let's carry on. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back for finishing the lesson plus one mark and calculate your final mark. Evaluating lesson objectives. Now you are able to use reflexive pronouns in writing sentences. And you have a mark of 20. If you have 100% perfect answers, that means 20 marks, then you can proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% and above, that means 15 marks and more, then you can go over the part you failed in and redo it. If you have 75% or lower than that, that means 15 marks or lower than that, then redo the whole lesson. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck and thank you for your attention.